<laughs> We're here. <laughs> <laughs> so How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, je suis excited. Okay, this is an amazing surprise. So I can't wait to eat the food. I was just talking about a Mauritian chef the other day. So can you believe it? Like that's how you know your man is listening to what you have to say. Sitting in the back of a cab in Mauritius in shock literally my partner is winning at this thing called life loving this place so far it's humid so that means I don't really have to wear a jacket and literally right now they are at um, a gas station like, as you can see and we are trying to buy sim cards to of course be in touch with the world however clearly this guy is trying to swindle us because he's like let me go inside and do it for you and we're like nah we are gonna come with you don't try to swindle kenyans because we know how to like work through this our hotel is an hour and 25 minutes away from the um airport so it's gonna be a little bit of a distance Mauritius. How's that? Rock. <laughs> It's mm. free here. You don't pay. What? So what? you guys don't pay for any medical? No, here we don't pay. Mm. But we have one private hospital mm. where it's very, very expensive. It's a mm. private hospital. Yeah. And uh, rich people go there. Mm. But uh, it's very expensive. Mm. Yeah. And here you have a hospital for eyes, mm. which is free. When they make the operation, mm. it's free. And you have a hospital for nose, for throat, for ear. Yeah. What's the name of the hospital? Uh, ENT. For children going to school, yeah. they also they don't pay yeah. bus fare. So you said when you're 60 years old, you don't pay? No. For bus fare and what else? For bus fare and like children going to school. Okay. They don't pay. It's free. Uh -huh. <laughs> they get the school bus. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. We just got to the botanical gardens and honestly I am in awe that this place is preserved because they have all these plants that they can teach you about. Think Uhuru Park, but they're telling you what to you know what to smell, what to look at and they've built like little iconic things within here for you to check out. So we are going to be checking that out. So the tickets to get in here for of course non Mauritian folks, it's two hundred um rupees and that means 400 for the two of us and now we're going to this like chateau that's within here if you want to use a guide within here it's a hundred um oh, it's a hundred rupee for the guide but that's for individuals This is grilled fresh fillet with some fries and of course salad. I'm gonna be using this chili sauce. It tastes pretty good. Here we have grilled chicken with fries and the mixed salad. I think these are like vegetables. 
but we'll find out. This was actually 600 rupees, and you get a drink, and you also get a dessert. So that's a score. And some rum. And some rum, actually. Well, that got bodied. So this is like homemade rum? Homemade rum. Okay. Ginger, mm. rum, and single syrup uh, inside of it. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna pour for us a shot? Yeah. Okay. How lethal is it? Sorry? How lethal is the... Is it strong? Not too strong. Not too strong? He's not too sure. <laughs> okay, it's time to take the rum shot. Cheers. I'm terrified. Oh my god. It tastes good, but it's also very. In you are Millie Rock, I need my son, so when I'm from a hop, and I shoot it up. We have just got into Fort Adelaide, I think that's what it's called. And it looks quite pretty. Let's see what the inside looks like. And I'm on the walk. And I'm on the walk. In New York, I'm really walk a lot. I did it in my sock. I did it in my sock. Selling every walk. I think we have the coolest taxi lady. I'm definitely gonna link her contacts below. Her name is Baby Davika. She just brought us to the waterfront and we are about to go into like the market area where we can get spices, souvenirs, and all that kind of stuff. Let me show you guys what we're seeing right now because we're in the middle of the town. Yep. Like look at that. That is so cool. That's like a port. Thing. and then we have to go through a channel to go all the way to that other side so let's do that Today was a pretty great day, quite productive. A couple of things to note, um, the market that we went to, it was at the waterfront. I felt like the souvenirs were kind of redundant, fridge magnets, postcards. Um, you have to haggle, that's one thing for sure. The spices, of course I had to get myself some, um, but also with that you have to haggle. Our hotel, Wale Le Bleu arranged that so they have different packages that was 2600 however um in certain places we had to pay for the entrance which was the botanical gardens but with the 2600 that covered the cab to go to town and to come back anyway like i said we're back to the hotel just change into my zoezy bathing suit oh yeah there's been plenty of people who are saying girl you pregnant you pregnant where 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 is the lace and our hotel has a pool of course so we're about to like enjoy our evening dip as the sun goes down day two wow listen this trip is turning out to be like all types of dope because um today we're going parasailing like listen patricia's pictures of her in costa rica parasailing looked so dope today 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 i get to experience it i just want to mention a couple of things so we had to take it took us an hour and a half from our hotel to get here um and the package was being offered by the hotel we were staying at it's eight thousand rupees which is about how much is it um honestly twenty-eight thousand kenya shillings because 
10,000 rupee is 30,000. Yeah, so I want to say that. Um, so it's about 28,000 Kenya shillings. It includes so many things that we're about to do today. Parasailing being one of them. Um, we're also going to go island hopping. We're going to go to a waterfall. We are also going to experience undersea walkings. And we noticed something. It's much better to book it with a hotel because the deal was so much cheaper and you get so much more stuff as opposed to trying to book it alone. You don't get um, as much perks. And anyway, let's get ready to parasail and live the best life. <laughs> And we have arrived. We're literally in the middle of the ocean. Look at that, guys. In the middle of the Like I was saying to you guys, the parasailing was absolutely phenomenal. Like, based on the videos, totally worth the cost. Right now, we're about to go on our second adventure, which is going to the waterfalls. Once you get off the parasailing boat, you have to come and um, have like 45 minutes. You hang out, um, you can have a beer, have a drink. So we decided to have a drink. And then you can board another boat to go to now the second island to enjoy the waterfalls. So far, with the parasailing, worth every dime it was like three to four minutes in the air um and then they give you like a memory card actually uh that you can buy so we bargained to 700 rupees originally they told us 1000 so this is another thing that you need to be on the lookout for that you can bargain and get some really good pictures this guy there with a cannon fine his sittings are not the greatest however the pictures are super amazing Hello, bitch. You can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. At the school, I can get them both. I don't want to choose, and I'm quick. Cut a nigga off, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't dance now. I make mean, came from that direction and came onto this island here. As you can see, it's literally just like a little island, and they are cooking and. We are about to have our lunch. So let's go see what the chef is making. We can actually have wine, beer, red wine, rosé, um, white wine as well. And they also have soft drinks and they give us water. So I think it's amazing that we were just like, oh, can I just have a glass? They're like, uh, no, we can give you the bottle and they have homemade drum so we're going to be trying that as well i'm super excited literally this is turning out to be the best trip this is our meal that's the view snake what snake rum okay this is frog brain i think you're trying <laughs> <laughs> How is this like snake rum and that's like wow. frog, frog brain. brain? What did you say? The snake I rum? I said the snake one, take up all your pain inside. Mm. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How it is? It's nice. It's quite nice actually. Yeah. yeah. Listen. You don't even know what it's called. Like, is that how? <laughs> you are winning. You are winning. Sam. 
<laughs> what? That Yo, was day two, day two, day two. That, that was unbelievable. This chick just said she'll start editing. <laughs> like, nah, fam. We got six more days. Six more days. Mm. That was beautiful. We are in the middle of like nowhere. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally in the ocean. Yeah, so that's where we are. We've just finished our last activity. And to be honest with you, this was worth it. I keep saying it was worth every single rupee we had Wine. to pay. Now we're just about to uh, head back to the mainland to of course start heading to our hotel, but we are blown away. Well done. For real, well done, babe. I don't bother with these hoes, don't let these hoes bother me. They see pictures, they say ghosts, bitch I'm who they trying to be. to check out from our first uh, location called Vola Le Bleu. I'm, I'm pretty sure I keep butchering the name. We stayed in a deluxe. It was going for 113 euros. Now, if you want, you can get a duplex because you can get the top and the bottom. However, I'll leave their link below in the description box for you guys to check out if you want to book this place for the night. It is bed and breakfast, so they were providing breakfast. And I really love that their food was very affordable, really good as well. Um, compared to certain places that we went to, um, their food was relatively good and their drinks are lethal. These guys really don't mince actually on um, their drinks. Their breakfast was pretty basic. However, you can add like pancakes and stuff like that for, for um, uh, rupees. I was gonna say euros, rupees. They give you a card so you can choose if it's continental or English breakfast. Out of 10, what would I rate it? I would rate it a strong nine. The other one, Mark, was mainly because maybe the, um, I, I feel like their food choices could be a little bit more, their breakfast could be different. Um, that's how I feel. But their hospitality, their, oh my God, it's been so good. Oh, one last thing I'd like to mention, that the dinner we had yesterday, the second night dinner, was actually mandatory, so we needed, it's one of their requirements of staying here. So if you choose to stay here, just prepare yourself to have 30 euros per person to, of course, cater for your dinner. It doesn't cover drinks, but yeah, <laughs> it's been a magical experience. Anyway, on to the next hotel. We literally just found um, a spot to get some great street food. There's a sitting space, and can you believe the ocean is right over there? Absolutely loving it.
food and the drinks we got came to like 300 rupees. I don't know, my body just feels like fries. So we just decided to buy fries and these bomb noodles. And of course, in true Kibanda fashion, this is how the sauces come in. <laughs> Little packets like this that we asked them for chili, so. You don't think so? Like I feel like you usually serve like your sauces like this and then i got this iced tea i think i'm gonna have to buy a couple of more it's really really good so let us dig in Cocktail is a very interesting like choice of moment. <laughs> it's a lot. We have some crispy calamari here. How much was this? 200? 200 rupees, if I'm not wrong. I think 200 or 250, but yeah. This looks pretty good. Also, that's a grapefruit. Interesting. So I went ahead to get the prawns and creole sauce with rice. It's interesting to note that their rice portions are quite small, right? Of course, there's a salad. I'm pretty sure this is eggplant because I've been noticing like this is such a huge staple that they serve. And then we have some vegetables here. Um, they is having rice with snapper and creole salt as well. And mm, salad, eggplant, and veggies. But again, that rice portion is so small, but we're not even mad about it. Probably the best Mauritian dish I've had ever since I got here. I'm not too crazy about salads, like especially like that, because I know they have mayo, so that's not my cup of tea. But this was really good. This got bodied as well. Like, that. No jokes. So good. True Mauritian fashion, they've just brought us some rum, so cheers. I've just taken 10 shots of rum because we've just left the sugar factory where you go on a little tour and the wildest thing is after that you get to taste like the honeys, the sugars, and the rum. The tickets were 400 rupees per person. Probably the most amazing tour I've experienced. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Kilos, Mandy. Personal best. You got this. Personal best. You got this. Personal best. <laughs> you moved it though. <laughs> Last day. Last day. Oh, no, the no, Let them keep on talking, girl. We said nobody. 
Girl, it's a given that I always need you more I put a ring on me cause I don't want you gone And when the talk just tell them this shit finished on and just like every good thing, it must come to an end. The vlog has to come to an end. Mauritius has been absolutely amazing. The vacation for a week felt like two weeks, to be very honest with you. Anyway, a couple of things to note before I end. I'm going to definitely link below the website that was used, courtesy of Bay, of course, for all the activities that we did while we were here. The website is called MauritiusAttractions.com, so I'll link it below. We flew here with Kenya Airways. I don't know the flight ticket prices because again this is a surprise trip so you can of course check Kenya Airways as a direct flight that comes here daily it's four hours and 25 minutes another thing that you'd want to note for all Kenyans it's free visa um, on arrival so you don't even have to pay for a visa to come here and this place is quite pricey every place or rather every cab that we took costed us roughly around 2,000 rupees to and from um, and I say this because a lot of the extractions are or excursions are an hour away so if you're staying in in the west and you want to do activities in the north just get ready to part with like 2,000 to 2,600 rupees if you are staying in Tumbo Bay and you're trying to go to Grand Bay you're gonna be paying 2,000 rupees so just prepare yourself for that which is $50 so that's 5,000 Kenya shillings um, on average on taxis Another smarter thing that you could do is just rent out a car. They have GPS already installed. For Kenyans, we drive on the same side as them. And their roads are pretty easy to navigate because they have signage everywhere. Or if you want to take the bus and experience it, take it. Um, I noticed like, their bus was pretty easy to like um, catch anywhere. I don't know the timings, but it's called Triol Bus Services. Yes, I'm not wrong. That's what I saw. T-R-I-O-L-E. T bus services when we got here when we landed of course we had to get a sim card their most popular i want to say um network is mtel which we purchased at engine supermarket which you can spot at any um gas station when you're of course leaving uh we bought the sim card for 450 rupees and then we got a 3 gb um data bundle yeah you want to say that for another 500 and i want to say 35 rupees so in total it was coming to 900 and the 3gb literally lasted us the whole entire week we were here all we did was just put it into one phone and we just um hotspot each other so it hasn't even ended until now so i want to say it's a steal another thing you might want to um check out is of course the weather dates or the perfect weather times to come here um i've gotten a lot of like comments from people around here who are saying april is not a good time because they're rainy season they say december january february and a little bit of march is really good because it's usually very hot however you can of course always double confirm that on the internet in general this is a really lovely place to come for like a honeymoon or to just come with your bae for you know a good trip all in all this was an amazing vacation very relaxing wear loose clothing carry a lot of bikinis for the ladies and just come here to have fun until the next vlog i hope you guys really enjoyed all the information i shared bye guys love you leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this vlog